Okay, so once there's a starfish, yeah, and he's walking down the street, and um, he's looking at his starfish feet, and he was um, looking down this little um, alleyway, and there was this, like, wizard just sort of loitering in this alleyway, sort of looking a bit confused. So he went over to ask him, like, oh, are you a wizard? And he was like, yeah. And he was like, oh, can you do any tricks? And he was like, tricks? He was like, yeah, and he was like, do you really want me to do some magic tricks? And the guy was like, yeah, I think that'd be... I mean, the starfish was like, yeah, I think that'd, that'd be pretty cool. And he was like, okay, but uh, my my um, my um magic tricks come at a price. And he was like, oh, that's fine, I have loads of money. Because he was like a really successful starfish. He had his like, little starfish family and like a really important starfish job in the starfish economy. And he was like um, really rich and he'd like become really famous for them. And he was really cool. And he was like, oh, I, I can pay for that. But um, then the wizard was like, no. The prices don't come in conventional money. They come in spiritual money. And he was like, spiritual money? And the wizard was like, yes. And he said, the price... Um, let me first tell you what the magic trick is. And he's like, okay, the, the starfish was sort of... Um, he'd engaged with that in conversation now. And it seemed pretty interesting. And he was like, okay, okay, okay. Um, what, what's the magic trick? And the guy was, and the wizard was like, um, whipped out a little book that he had at his helm next to his little tiny dagger. Cause he was a fighting wizard. He can start smoking it. Um, um, so, um, right, so the wizard, um, whipped out his little book and he opened his book and he opened to a certain chapter and he was like, um, ultimate, um, superpowers, you will become a supervillain and loved by all, and, um, okay, the guy was like, wow, that's pretty fucking cool, and the guy was like, um, um, the guy, the wizard was like, okay, but the price for it is your path, and the staff is just like, oh, doesn't sound like that what? much, like, it's just a pass, this has already happened, it's not out for one, and he's like, sounds fine, and he was like, okay, sure, and then the guy went home, and as he was going home, like, he was walking home, and, um, he went to where his car was parked, and the, the starfish, he went to where he parked the starfish car, which is like a giant clam that, like, clams down the street, and, um, he was like, oh, it's gone, and he's like, that's pretty strange, he's like, I have to file a complaint, someone stole my clam starfish car, the clan car, and the, um, the guy is like, <laughs> the guy, the guy is like, um, the guy is like, um, the starfish guy, he heads home, he walks home, you know, he, he, um, he doesn't have any change for starfish bus or anything, starfish bus is like this giant, big fish that, like, the starfish, like, stick themselves to. But, um, he couldn't afford that, so he walked home, and he got to his house, and he, and he's like, oh, wow, they've already, they've already started dinner, that's a little rude, and I'm not that late, they should have, they should have waited for me. I love my starfish family. The starfish man looked to the starfish window of his house, and he saw his starfish wife, and, um, Dad. but she had another husband and a completely different set of Dad. kids. And he was like, Dad. the starfish man was like, what the fuck is happening? So he ran out. He and he that. just, he was like, I don't know what to do, what, what is happening. And he's like, I can't report this to the police. Um, so he's just like, oh, well, I may as well just get blotted then. Blotted. He's like, the starfish man was like, I may as well just get blotted. And he met up with all his starfish friends. No. He um he called up one of his starfish friends, but the number just went, and he kept on calling different numbers, and nobody would reply. And he went home. You no, know I mean, he couldn't go home, so he just he was like, well, we might as well just get to go to the pub then, like, um, drink will solve my problems, because he was actually an alcoholic. But um, he'd been trying to keep it secret from his wife by drinking like Fanta bottles that were just full of whiskey, and his wife would just his starfish wife would just think they were like normal Fanta bottles, but like he was an alcoholic. So this is his usual solution to, like, stress, I guess. And then um, he went to the starfish pub and got absolute fuck. And he woke up the next day. Couldn't really remember what had happened the night before, but he remembered that he'd gone to the pub and he was like, fuck, and he'd just woken up in the field. And he went to grab a rock. 
because um, it looked like a cool rock from where he was standing, and he just lasered the rocket exploded, and he was like, fuck. And um, so then what he did is he went to the bank, and he was like, this is a bank with me, and they're like, what the fuck are you saying, mate? You're just a naked starfish, like, you're like about five centimeters, and it's like, fuck you. And um, he shot his lasers at them, and they, two of the women died, and he was like, fuck, I didn't mean to do that, I just wanted to, like, stun them. But he really needed money, so he was like, you have to give me all the money, and they gave him all the money, and he ran off, and he bought a car, and an unmarked gun from the deep web, he bought that as well, some Starfish deep web. And... And, um... He made a little hut, and he lived in it. And over about a thousand years, because he was a really, he, like, he was, starfish can't actually die. That's their secret that they keep from people, is they can't actually die. And they just change their names every, like, 50 years. And, um, and so, um, over, like, a thousand years, over, like, a thousand years, he developed his laser powers, and, um, so it was time to fight crime, and he beat up loads of mean people, and slammed justice into the cities of America. Starfish man, and he was super cool, and he could control his laser powers completely, like, like he could just slightly bray something, or he could completely obliterate it. It was like massive energies. So he was like the almost super. He could fly around as well. He like learned how to fly as well you know, in a thousand years. Cause he got really bored once. He was like going to learn how to fly. So he spent like a hundred years learning how to fly. And he was like the best superhero ever. And it was great. Yeah.